it's me again, Winston. I came across a problem uh, a couple of days ago, and I thought this would make a great video for it. So why don't we go check out this problem? I go to turn on my AC on this warm day. Nothing comes, you know, no cool air comes out. So I have to go check out and see what the problem is. My philosophy is different to whereas most people would check out the little stuff first before going into the big problems. I like to check out the big problem first. Now I'm going to check out this problem by checking out the compressor first. And the way I'm going to do that is with this wire. First I disconnect the compressor switch. Okay, you see that? It's just a clip. Alright. With the engine running, I'm going to take this and attach it to that while I take this line and attach it to the positive battery terminal. Now be careful when you do this because let's say you connect this first. This end becomes live. So what I would do is I would touch that like so and then tap it on the positive terminal just so you know you don't touch any of these other electricals we would have to try this also while the engine is running so cover your ears it's gonna get loud okay so the clutch is kicking in you notice that it sound different that means the AC is kicking notice the idle change. I just took off the wire off the battery. So at least we know it's not a problem with the compressor and I know for a fact that there's Freon in this thing so now those are the biggest worries in my mind and that's gonna save me a lot of money knowing that. So at least in my mind I already know that it's electrical. So the first thing first, the first things I'm gonna check first is uh, for the fuse and I'm going to turn my thing here upside down and it says here the clutch relay is number seven so I'm going to take that one right there I'm going to take this clip right here this comes here for a reason take this check my fuse I double check to see that it's still in one piece so guess what it's a relay not a fuse, okay? Because that goes to the relay. It's back in here so you don't lose that. But for me, my unique problem is uh, sitting behind this bumper because that's where I tuck the relays uh, when I did the wire tuck. This is what the relay looks like. See the brown? Might have been burnt out. Don't forget to reconnect your connectors, otherwise, it won't work, okay? There. To test your relay, you're going to need two things, a voltmeter and some test leads. Now normally with uh, relays, they usually have a diagram like this, where it shows you like this, for example, the way it's uh, uh, depicted on this picture. You're, the one and two is to, con to continue the, the closed circuit, and these upper two, which is three and four, is the one is the switch now I have the uh, negative lead hooked up to the number one and I have this which is already connected to the uh, positive battery terminal and I should hear a click okay it's working but sometimes a click is not enough Take your voltmeter, set it to the ohms, make sure you have no resistance. There, zeros. Okay, take your leads, place one right there, place one, the other one right here. You should also hear you should have no resistance when you know, even when the positive is touch uh, positive terminal is 
um, touching the number two. You see the number? Zero. So this, this tells me this relay is good. So at least now you know what you're going to get into when you're troubleshooting your AC. Now other contributing factors might be low refrigerant. If you've done a wire tuck lately that might also affect your electricals because maybe a line got squished there somewhere or maybe it accidentally got cut. You, have, you may have to go through that trouble of going through your wirings and everything. There may be other factors too but the, those main ones that I pointed out to you whether it be the fuse, the relay or even the compressor itself Sometimes even if you, you know, if you have a leak, you might want to get a refrigerant that you can refill your system with that has dye in it already. That way you already know if there's any leaks uh, coming from. In my case, all, all my lines were fit as a fiddle. I didn't find any leaks anywhere. My compressor, as you've seen, it works. So, And once, once I just replaced the relays, it was all good. I hope this video helped you out a little bit look out for future videos the contest is coming soon i promise i just got back from my trip finally you know i'm finalizing a deal with somebody for my next project so who knows all right take care don't do anything crazy out there kids have fun happy memorial day take care bye bye